if you're interested in a wonderful biography by best-selling author Amanda Prose, I need you to check out this book. Hi, I'm Maria from Read Fine Books and today we are talking about Women Like Us, a perfect, perfect biography which will be published this September. Reading this, I found an ordinary woman with ordinary thoughts like I hate my body, I'm not good enough, I, I can't do that. And these are sad thoughts and yet I think they are very, very common. I have them all the time. I bet a lot of you do too. And this book is about a lot of them. It's, as I said, an autobiography. It reads kind of like a confession and uh, I love that about it. The, the entire tone of the book is like reading a diary, a kind of a forbidden diary because there are things in there I wouldn't confess to anyone. There are things in there that are intimate, private, and yet Amanda Prose talks about them with a lot of candor. So this is Amanda Prose talking about her life from childhood, mem memories she's fond of and memories she would rather forget. She had an illness as a child and as a young adult and handled it with so much maturity but it did left its mark upon her, her body and um, her state of mind. She had some rebellious years, don't we all? And surpassed them again with um, lessons learned and a lot of maturity. Her life seemed to come together when she married and had a child, but it soon also fell apart. And yet she fulfills her dream of becoming a published author. We know that. But what of her family life? What of everything else? Everything else but becoming an author seems a failure in her eyes. At the height of her career, all she thinks about is getting old and how she looks. That hit me hard. Everyone struggles with weight. Uh, I completely, completely understood that all success is pale in comparison to being thin. And that is such, such a sad statement. Amanda Brose is now the most prolific writer of contemporary fiction in the UK. All her books are bestsellers. She has written more than 30 stories, all emotional and real. And, uh, and they talk about women like us all the time. But in this book she uses her own life to create a beautiful and inspiring story in the end. I read it kind of slow, I, I like thinking about it and, um, and I like the realness, the honesty, the intimacy and I think the courage it took for her to say something is immense. I deeply admire her for that. Um, however, I do admit I didn't know absolutely anything about her starting this book, not even that she was a best-selling author, because I had uh, downloaded this book a long time ago from Ned Galley and uh, I had simply forgotten the bio. <laughs> so <laughs> I went in blind. So what I'm talking about here is only based on this book. So far I like her writing, I'm definitely picking up another one of her books this year. But there are things I didn't enjoy about it. Uh, and it's time to discuss those as well. The first thing about it is that it includes photos. And I like that part 
I liked it a lot. Uh, it was so unexpected and it made it all very real. But the photos are inserted at somehow wrong times. And, and I say that because um, I went in this book not knowing anything about the author. I didn't know if she was married, she had a child, she got divorced, nothing. So, um, for example, whenever she talked about a guy, I didn't know she would talk about her future husband or her future ex-husband or her future just forgettable lover. And I and it made me curious. It the way she writes it develops some sort of um, a bit of suspense. But then came a photo, and bang! I just knew the ending of the story before she had the time to tell it. Be because the photo's caption says something like me and my husband Eric or whatever. And of course then you know her boyfriend will become her husband. So no more mysteries and, and I hate that that was spoiled. I really really like to enjoy the book knowing not knowing what happens next and uh, she even spoils some things as well she inserts some phrases that will hint at what is to come and kind of ruins the suspenseful mood i don't know it's a biography it's not it's not that suspenseful but the small elements of suspense should not be ruined so please, please, no spoilers. That was one big thing I didn't like. <laughs> but there is another. And uh, the other one is... She um, doesn't give herself enough credit for what she has accomplished. She talks a lot about the struggles, the pain, the dark thoughts she had but not enough of her accomplishments and I I understand that completely for her as a person but but I think this book would have needed a little more or a little a little more um, <clears throat> light thoughts she was so so hard on herself and it wasn't warranted at all sometimes i didn't know why she had those thoughts i think sometimes she just didn't give herself enough credit for what she accomplished i think the book should have um, been better at at talking about the good things as well. So I'm not advocating for leaving out bad things. I'm advocating for including more of the good stuff. And another thing I could actually uh, say about this book is that it was a bit too long. I don't say that lightly. I think that there were things repeated in there there were things that were uh, that didn't made me fe that didn't make me feel more understand more about her life i think she repeats herself a bit and um, the book could have been edited a little more to be shorter and now to the good stuff the what I, what I liked about it. I loved the part where she goes on about her writing. I loved how she uh, how her message, how her speech becomes uplifting and inspiring. She becomes very passionate in how she talks about it. 
and uh, of course she's an author she has by now 30 books out and of course she's passionate about her stories so i absolutely love that that comes out in the book very well uh, i but i think it wasn't emphasized enough i think she could have dedicated whole chapters to writing her um her way of writing, her method of writing, where she comes up with ideas, her inspiration, everything about writing. Perhaps she will, she will write another book just about that. Because the way she talks about writing doesn't compare with anything else in the book. I absolutely loved it. I actually thought the book was about writing. I thought I thought it was her story of becoming a writer. I thought the book would end when she became an author, yet it didn't. Actually, the story was about the weight problems she had and about feeling good in your own body, feeling good with yourself in general. It was a very, very important message. Throughout her life, her obsession was always being thin. And as I said in the beginning, at the height of her career, this was still her obsession. And uh, at her lowest points, she goes into so much detail that I felt uh, very immersed in the story. She talks about eating patterns, binges, uh, she talks about lying to her family, and uh, how her family supports her, how her family encourages her. And, but she talks about how the conversation should be more around fat. And uh, at this point, it was clear to me that she didn't know exactly how she could have stopped earlier in her journey in becoming overweight. She talks about it a lot. It, I think she gave it a great deal of thought herself, but I don't think she reached the right conclusion. Um, I'm not sure what would have stopped her overeating before it was becoming a medical problem but uh, the reality is that no amount of conversation with family and friends would have stopped it because she was always aware of it i, I think she is right though with other things i think I think that losing weight is a difficult process which begins in the mind and she has great, great tips for how to start this process in the mind, how to understand how, why we eat, how we think about food and uh, more importantly how we think about ourselves. Are we happy in our, in our bodies? Are we happy with how they feel? Do we treat our bodies with love and with kindness? Um, this, this is such a huge part of the message of the book and I absolutely love this part. I found it inspiring and um, it uh, even made me take some action with my own way of eating and thinking about food. So if a book can do that, a personal story can do that, it's just wonderful. If you're struggling with weight as well, I think you'll find this book very good. It uh, is just so reassuring to know that there are people out there who don't have it all figured out even when they seem they do even when all goes great from a career standpoint even from a family standpoint because she has a wonderful family a wonderful son and a wonderful husband now and yet she was still struggling with weight her message is uplifting and inspiring and uh, it 
it will help you if you are alone in your struggles and maybe actually motivate you to take some action. I received this book from Ned Galley in exchange for a fair review and I am very glad I read it. I'm Maria from Read Fine Books. Thank you for watching.